Hey guys and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new upcoming Chanel 2021 LeBlanc makeup collection and we've already seen a lot of photos on Instagram so in this video I'm going to show you some photos and some swatches of the collection and I'm going to share with you my first impressions of the collection and I'm going to share with you my thoughts. I would like to invite all of you to join me in the comment section below and let me know what you think of this new upcoming makeup collection from Chanel. If that's your first time on this channel, welcome! I love talking about luxury beauty and fragrances and I do my best to share you the latest luxury beauty news and releases and I like to share with you my honest opinions on luxury beauty products. So if that sounds interesting please make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss future videos. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my blog at angelavanrose.com. Now let's go ahead and get started. So before I start I want to mention Tavia from chicprofile.com because I often get my information from Tavia's blog. Her blog is dedicated to luxury beauty and I'm going to have all of her information in the description box below. And she's a London-based personal shopper, which means that if you want to get some products that are only available in London or in Europe, she can get them for you. So I'm also going to mention some of the Asian accounts from which I'm taking photos for this video and I'm going to have links to those accounts in the description box below. So for this video I'm going to be inserting photos and also I'm going to be looking at my phone because I want to look at the same photos as you. As I mentioned, yes, join me in the discussion below and let me know what you think of the new upcoming Chanel LeBlanc 2021 makeup collection. I already did a review of Chanel's Spring 2021 makeup collection and I picked the Duo Compact and the two limited edition Les Quatre Ombres, which were not available in the US. Now I have information that the new LeBlanc makeup collection is going to be available in the US. Sadly, the Spring makeup collection, the eyeshadow palettes from the Spring makeup collection were not available in the US, but now the new LeBlanc makeup collection is going to be released in the US first. So those of you who are based in the US, you're going to have access to this collection first. So the new LeBlanc 2021 makeup collection from Chanel is going to be dedicated to Chanel's pearls and the colors are going to have light pearly textures. LeBlanc makeup collections from Chanel are usually very pretty and very suitable for the spring season. The new LeBlanc 2021 makeup collection features one limited edition eyeshadow palette and it contains two pearly shades, it contains one peachy shade and one reddish brown color, or at least that's what I see from the photos um, that were posted on Instagram. I see that the colors are quite pale and they have pearly finish, which looks quite interesting to me. There is also going to be a limited edition Balm Essential, which is going to be in a new shade. It's going to be almost like the transparent Balm Essential, but it's going to have also little shimmers inside, or at least that's what I see from the photos. So I like the Balm Essential sticks from Chanel and I have the stick in sculpting, but I am not not sure if I want to add a new Balm Essential into my collection because I already have the sculpting and this one, the new one, looks with a little bit more bigger glitters in it and so I'm not sure that I want to add this to my collection. I just don't think that it's a lot more different than the one that I have in sculpting. There is also going to be a very interesting illuminating blush powder from Chanel, which actually looks like a highlighter. Now I know that this product is called Pearls de Lumière and it's going to be illuminating blush powder. Now I definitely think that this is not a blush and I definitely think that this is going to be more like a highlighter, but probably if you have very pale skin, probably you can use this also as a blush because I remember that a few years back Dior actually released a product that we all thought was a highlighter. They released a golden highlighter that worked surprisingly beautiful as a blush. So I'm definitely going to pick this product because I like powder highlighters. I think that I don't have a yellow highlighter from Chanel. I don't know if this is existing shade from Chanel and it's just a re-promote in a new packaging. So I'm definitely going to try and get the illuminating blush powder because I think it looks very interesting and I'm very curious to see if this is actually going to turn out to be like the Dior 
blush back then. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting the eyeshadow quad because Shantakai just came up with their spring summer makeup collection and the eyeshadow quad from Shantakai looks a little bit more attractive to me. I'm not receiving PR from brands and all of the makeup products that you see on my channel are purchased with my own money so I still have to choose which collections to buy and which collections to skip and since I recently purchased the whole Chanel Spring 2021 makeup collection I'm not sure if I'm going to be purchasing this eyeshadow palette in particular, the new LeBlanc eyeshadow palette, because the colors look interesting, but not so interesting and not so attractive. But also Shantikai came up with a new spring summer makeup collection and I think that the colors of Shantikai's quad are quite pale, just as the Chanel's LeBlanc quad. And I think that if I had to choose, I think I would go for Shantikai's eyeshadow quad because the colors look a little bit more interesting to me. Now both Shantikai and Chanel I think didn't do something exceptional and something groundbreaking. The colors I think we all have this kind of colors and are not something um, unique but I'm also very interested in the two ombre et contour which are somewhere in the middle between can be used as eyeshadows and eyeliners. So I have a lot of the Chanel Stilo Ombre et Contour and I think that if these two are available at my local Chanel boutique, I'm definitely going to be picking those, but I don't think that they're going to be available, so I might need to skip this. The new Chanel LeBlanc 2021 makeup collection should be available in the US in the beginning of February, and then in the end of February it should be available in Europe, and then in the beginning of March it should be released also in Canada. So for everyone who is based in the US, make sure to call your Chanel counters and make sure to call your Chanel consultants because the collection might be available at your counters at the time when you're watching this video. So overall, I think that Lucia Pica did a good job creating the new LeBlanc makeup collection. The collection is dedicated to pearls, so I'm expecting very interesting textures. And also I expect that the eyeshadows in this collection are going to have beautiful, tiny, reflective particles, which are going to look lovely on the skin. I'm not sure how these colors are going to look on deeper skin tones, but anyways, Chanel's LeBlanc makeup collections are usually created for the Asian market and for Asian skins, which are usually very pale. And you know that their makeup style is a little bit different from the makeup style that we have in Europe or in the US or in other parts of the world. They prefer light textures and they prefer that kind of a no makeup makeup look. So definitely make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this new upcoming Chanel 2021 LeBlanc makeup collection. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos because I have a lot of interesting products that I purchased recently and that I'm going to review for you. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.